Hello again, it is Steve, once again from Music Academy in Staley Bridge, and today we're continuing with our Tuna Day book one for guitar. Uh, we're on page three, and last time we did E and F March, today we're following it up with the second piece on the page, which is First String Melody. Now, let's see, looking at this, there is one new note introduced, which is the G. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, last time we uh, covered that this is our E, our high E string. Fret one is F, obviously there's no sharp or flat note between E and F. And the note above that on this piece is G. Now there is a sharp, um, or a semitone rather, between F and G. So it's not fret two we're going for for G, it's fret three. Okay, so here we go. have it. Um, so this is where it's really starting to get into the kind of um, the more advanced kind of technique, I say more advanced, but um, it's putting the gas on a little bit. Um, the past few um, videos have been open string exercises, really getting right hand working. Now it's assuming that you've established some right hand technique and uh, it's starting to push left hand a little bit. Um, the putting one finger on fret one for the last one, E and F march, simple enough, yeah. Moving on to G, where you've got to stretch your ring finger, which might not be a very strong finger if you've not played guitar very long. Honestly, these two are going to take the most um, training out of all your left hand uh, fingers. <clears throat> so having that move in for the G can be quite a complex um, maneuver for a beginner. So I think that's what this piece is trying to to uh, tackle, he's trying to get you using your ring finger, okay? While we're here, by the way, I might as well just mention for you that it's, it's advisable for you to use one finger per fret. Try and assign your first finger for the first fret, second finger for the second, third for third, fourth for fourth, um, <clears throat> and try and have them take that fret on, okay? There's some pieces where you can barely move your hand if you know what I mean, for, for being so efficient, you don't even, you just have to lift fingers up and put them down because the hands are in the right place, ready to just be dropped onto the string and picked up again. Um, that's kind of what you want to go for. You want to go for it being as effortless as possible. So that's it for first string melody, and I will see you on the next piece in the playlist. Take it easy until then. Bye bye. We hope you like our content, and if you do, make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss anything that's coming up.